I found these top 10 changes in iOS 18 Beta 3 released by Apple. Starting with the Photos app, the search icon in the Beta 2 on top right has been split into Select and Blue Colored Search Icon. Previously in Beta 2, you had to swipe down to use the Select option, but now both the icons are displayed on top for easy access. Also, the Photo Preview had a frame border in the Beta 2, but now it has been reverted to the previous iOS 17 version filling the screen. Unfortunately, the video preview is still the same with a laggy scrubbing interface like the Beta 2. There is also a significant change in the iPhone home screen. Apple has added many dark mode icons to many third-party applications. Some app icons have increased contrast and darkness, while others have been changed to match the theme of the default dark mode options. The Maps icon has been changed to more vibrant colors, and almost all the Google apps except Google Pay has been converted to dark mode compared to previous Beta 2 version. The next major change is the keyboard's emoji menu. Now there is more space between the emojis when selecting new emojis, but the frequently used emojis tab has the same space as the previous version. Also now you can add emojis and stickers immediately using the new menu sections in the bottom left corner. Up next is the iPhone wallpaper. There is a new dynamic wallpaper added in the iOS 18 section where it changes the wallpaper colors throughout the day. It's a cool feature, but I would recommend using the standard dark mode wallpaper so that it does not drain your iPhone battery. Also, there is a very subtle change in the control center UI. The icon's opacity has been reduced significantly, blending more into the background. Also, the connectivity menus have a quick action button on the right instead of tap and hold action in the previous version. Speaking of control center, a new preview animation has been added in the settings application. The next change is in the accessibility feature. When we select the eye tracking and enable the tracking feature, there are additional tracking points added with different positions to increase the tracking accuracy compared to the previous Beta 2 version. And if we go to the shortcuts application and create a new shortcut, there is a new pop-up animation added in the UI as compared to the previous slide-up animation. And lastly, there is a minor change in the calculator app where a radian indicator has been added while changing the unit in the scientific calculator section. Bonus feature for Pro models is a brand new and bigger icon animation for the flashlight function. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to TechLoper for more such iPhone tech perks that works. See you over there.